Seeking a sip of fine Russafeld red? Prepare for disappointment. A thousand pardons, but the battle reeve requires your prompt appearance at the proxy queen's court.
We grow accustomed to the influx of visitors to our blessed isle, though your increasing numbers remain a source of concern to our nobles. We, however, find the many non-Altma faces to be... interesting. What business brings you to the palace? The Psychic Order? We have not heard a word from that August body in a star's age, and then word arrives that we should expect a visitor. Why would we grant access to the Sapiarch's private compound? Speak true if you want our aid in this matter. This involves the business that Razumdar was telling us about. The Queen's cat claimed he had eyes in the Psychic Order, but we assumed that was more of his braggadocio. Very well. We'll send word to Lelandril that you may cross to the college. The newcomer wants us to blather on about the many wonders of the Blessed Isle. Why, by all means. Let us sing the praises of the Sapiarchs, reveal a recipe for an Altma delicacy, and select the best House of Reveries performance for you to attend. Indeed. Perhaps you aren't as dull as we first presumed. My queen has asked that we welcome you, so we shall tell you that the Sapiarchs are our teachers. The compound in the Landrel serves as the seat of their prestigious college. And we shall alert the portal master to accommodate you. Once inside, seek out Lana Teal, Sapiarch of Archaeology. She leads the college and should hear the right master's warning. There, we have done our deed for the day. from the Queen's eye. Would it really be true?
Honestly, I think she plans to do something rash. She might even attack the guards. Ugh. Never. Uh. What do you want? Stay strong, Emil. I'll get you out of this. Secure the prisoner in the Fighters Guild. Off you go. I've checked over Lilindril from top to bottom, and there's no sign of the Court of Bedlam. I can't get the Portalmaster to let me go to the College Compound, though. Have you brought permission from the Proxy Queen? Good, good. I was about to turn that insignificant book dust into something small, wet, and slimy. It would have made matters worse, but it might have brightened the dark mood I've been in. Uh, sorry, I don't mean to burden you with my troubles. No, the mission is more important than personal matters. I'm sure Lathan will turn up, eventually. In the meantime, you should talk to the Portal Master and see if she's ready to grant us access to the college. Lathan and I met when we were initiates of the Sigic Order. We fell in love and married, had a daughter. We had all the things we ever wanted. And then everything changed. After we lost our daughter, Lathan grew distant, more subdued. It happened ages ago. After a long illness, we lived on an island filled with the most accomplished sages of our age, and there was nothing that could be done. We tried. I tried. But the illness took her in the end. Lathan was never the same. No, it wasn't like that. When the Rite Master first learned of the possible Daedric threat, Lathan volunteered to look into it. We both thought it would be good for Lathan to get away, give him something to occupy his time. Then he disappeared. Lathan's reports became less frequent. Then he stopped sending them altogether. I'd know if he was dead, but he could be a prisoner or hurt. My main concern right now is the threat posed by the Daedric Princes. Lathan will have to wait. Not now, please. I really must prepare for tonight's lecture. Besides, only those with permission may enter the College of Sapiarchs. We can't have just anyone wandering around the compound. So you're the luminary the Proxy Queen wants me to treat with kid gloves. And I suppose the arrogant Sigic is with you? Oh, very well. Let's get this over with. The compound has been purposely isolated to serve as a sanctuary and place of study. Research and scholarship require solitude and quiet, after all. We use magic to travel back and forth. I'll prepare the portal dais when you're ready to cross. Just follow me and step onto the dais. By the seven sacred texts! Who has dared invade this place of learning? I've got this. You talk to that sapiarch. This is unheard of. Attacked in our own sanctuary? 
This is terrible. Please excuse my present state, as I am distraught beyond all rational thought. I never imagined that Daedra would attack our compound. It's madness. Forgive my lapse in protocol. I am Elamil, Sapiarch of Daedric Fallacies. Happened? No, oh, it isn't over yet. There was no warning. Daedra filled the compound. So many great minds cut down. We were able to clear the courtyard, but there's more inside. I fear for the safety of the Head Sapiarch and our other sages. The Crystal Tower? You need to speak to Lana Teal, Sapiarch of Archaeology and head of our college. She's trapped inside with those monsters. I suggest you enter through the labyrinth beneath the compound. Just watch out for the Daedra. According to the maps I studied, the labyrinth is this way. I'll return to Lalondral and warn the guards. Good idea. Perhaps I should accompany you. Seal this place, mortal flea! There's more to this than a simple daedric incursion. I felt a strange sensation when we arrived. A sense of urgency. We need to hurry and find the trapped Sapiox. Sometimes. Probably has something to do with living on a displaced island and being part of the Sigic Order. We knew the three Daedric Princes were a threat, but this is our first clear evidence of their hostile intent. Even scholars have ways to defend themselves. Which reminds me, I can protect myself, but I'm not much good in a raging battle. I'll try to stay behind you and keep out of the way. Now, let's hurry and go save the Sapiox. This is enormous!
I'd like to explore this compound one day, when fewer Dojo are about, of course. Mortal, please. to reach the upper levels through there. Is up ahead. No more sages need die today, Sapiark. Just give me the diamond keys. The resolute diamonds are not mine to give, especially not to a Daedric cultist. Lathan, stop! Valserin, no, damn you! You and your companion arrived in the proverbial nick of time. Now, if you wouldn't mind. Who in oblivion are you, and how did you know the College of Sapiarchs was under assault? First, 
The cultist leads an army of Daedra into our compound and demands I turn over the Resolute Diamonds. Now, you arrive with a warning from the long-absent sages of Arteum. I think you need to explain yourself before we go any further. That's impossible. We would know if the tower's defenses had been breached. But it would explain the disasters currently befalling the Somerset Isle. Let's say I believe you. What does the right master suggest as the next step? A reasonable plan, but access to the tower requires the resolute diamonds, which are guarded by the tower's sentinels. Only they can use the keys. I suppose they are the next targets. We need to warn Hanail and Imadril at the Illumination Academy. We appreciate your aid in this matter. Before you head to the Illumination Academy, perhaps you can have your friend get that... cultist out of my compound. As it is, it's going to take weeks to get rid of the stench of Daedra. Every eleven years, two Sapiarchs are selected to undergo a long and extensive ritual to attune them to the Resolute Diamonds the keys that open the Crystal Tower. These sentinels guard the diamonds and utilize them to grant access to the tower. The Azure Diamonds are a matched set, specifically attuned to a pair of Sapiarchs at any given time. Only an attuned sentinel can use a diamond key, and both keys are required to open the path into the tower. Who can say how much the cultist actually knows about the diamonds and their function? The Daedric Prince he serves, however, has magic enough to utilize the diamonds. That's why we must make sure the Sentinels are safe and out of harm's way. In addition to their sentinel duties, Hanail and Imadril also serve as scholars in the College of Sapiarchs. They have research to conduct, lectures to give. For their own protection, however, their identities as sentinels are known only to a few. That's our standard practice. Difficult times call for desperate measures, however. You need to know who they are so you can find them and return them to our compound. Hanail needed to use the Academy Library, and Imadril accompanied her. The Azure Diamonds are a matched set, specifically attuned to a pair of Sapiarchs at any given time. Let's leave these cities. I can't to believe I was concerned about the welfare of my husband. To find Lathan here. Threatening the Sapiox and leading a horde of Daedra. How could he betray the Order like that? How could he betray me? A simple spell of binding. His attention was so focused on the Sapiox, he wasn't prepared to deal with another Sigic mage. While you go and find the Tower Sentinels at the Illumination Academy, I'll take Lathan back to Arteum. I almost hope he gives me a little trouble. I could use a reason to unleash some pain and suffering on this... this... turncoat. Don't worry. My spell will hold until we reach the confines of Kapora Tower. I seal this place, mortal, please! You there. Tell my darling wife to release me, and I'll ask Mathala to kill you quickly when the new age dawns. Spinner saved me from fools and altruistic adventurers. Valserin turned her back on me and my daughter a long time ago. Is it any wonder I've found acceptance and a purpose among the court of Bedlam? Don't presume to judge my actions, you insignificant flea. I am an Earl in the court of Bedlam now. 
chosen personally by Mathala to represent her on this all too fragile world. Leave me. I'm done speaking to you now. Stay strong, Emil. I'll get you out of this. Secure the prisoner in the Fighters Guild. Off you go. Five Claw, you always arrive just when the right. After Roz spoke to the pretty Sigi Coriandra, whispers reached me about the illustrious Illumination Academy. They said that the court of Bedlam hunts a sepiarch there, so Roz had to come and see. 
Didn't expect all the crazy people, though. So the Crystal Tower really is in danger. This one finds that so hard to believe. The Crystal Tower. It's a bastion. A symbol of everything the High Elves hold dear. The Queen would be very cross with Raz if anything bad happened to the Tower. Now Raz sees why the Court of Bedlam seeks these particular sages. Very well. No need to twist this one's tail. Raz will help you save the Sapiarchs from the demented Daedric cultists. Let's look in the guest wing on the west side of the compound. This way. Follow Raz. Onward, sailors! What treasures await us! New arrivals? I wasn't told... Sorry, they usually let me know when new academics are going to arrive. I'm sure I can find a way to squeeze you in someplace. How long do you plan on staying? Sure. They arrived a few days ago, but only Sapiak Hanayel stayed. She's working on a book of some sort. I think that's what she told me. Don't know where the other one scampered off to. She hasn't been back to her room in quite a while, though. I wouldn't think so. She left all her things in her room. Notes, valuable tomes. Not the sorts of items a sage would leave behind. Maybe she just got caught up in the nonsense outside. You can examine her room if you like. It's right over there. The Sapiarch's letter. She's hidden a coded message in the words. Raz has seen this done before. <laughs> Hanael mentions something isn't right here. That she plans to hide in a quiet room. Very smart. It seems the Sapiarch knows that someone is hunting her. The list of specific books in a specific order, though. That's the key, Raz thinks. We need to find the books and the podiums, if Raz has deciphered the meaning of her code correctly. Let's hope we can find her before the Court of Bedlam does. That is disturbing news. The Queen hates Daedric machinations, especially the most overt ones. Let us hurry and try to find the Sapiarch.
A vanishing bookcase. Raz likes this clever sage. My illusion spell! Who... who are you? If... you're the person that's been following me, I warn you, I'll... I'll scream! I knew I wasn't imagining things. I told Imadril that we were being followed. If the head of the College of Sapiarch sent you and told you we got it, the Resolute Diamonds, it must be a serious matter. Something involving the other alliances? Daedric princes, you say? As in more than one? That doesn't sound very good. Imadril went to King's Haven, not too far from here. The old ruins. He loves to poke around in that place every chance he gets. But I'm still a bit confused. Uh, Raz will explain things to the pretty Sapiar and make sure she returns safely to Lilandrel. You go find the one in the ruins.
defend its webs, mortal! It's in all my nooks and crannies. Thanks for helping, though. No! Save the Dawn Star Gem! The spider poison. It's spreading fast. Take this. Resolute Diamond. Don't let the Golden Knight sacrifice be in vain. Then you know we're Tower Sentinels, guardians of the diamond keys that open the Crystal Tower. Please, make sure my diamond remains safe. My father, Prince of the Secret Arts, she sought my diamond, but also seemed very interested in... The Golden Knight. I fear she's taken him to the spiral skein. Uh, tell her, Nihil, I'm sorry. Ah, there you are. The Right Master needs you back in Arteum immediately. Find him in Kapora Tower as soon as you can.
thank you for returning so promptly. Before we get to other matters, tell me about your search for the Tower Sentinels. Valserin recounted the events at the College of Sapiox after she returned with Lathan, but I'm eager to hear your report. Mephala, curse her name! Along with her cohorts, Clavicus Vile and Nocturnal, she corrupted Lathan and threatens all of Nern. But the Sapiox no longer have an attuned pair of key bearers. That will make it harder to access the Crystal Tower. That Golden Knight is one of Meridia's champions, I believe. It seems that one Daedric Prince is trying to help us. That gem is the Dawn Star, from the Dawnbreaker Sword. Why take the Knight prisoner, though? What are the Princes playing at here? Hmm? Oh, yes. Without two attuned Tower Sentinels, the Sapiarchs can't use the Diamond Keys to open the way to the Crystal Tower. The attuning process usually takes a year and a day, and I have no idea if they can hasten the process. Meridia is the Daedric Prince of Life and Light, and the Matron of the Colored Rooms. She isn't part of the Triad of Princes. Indeed, it seems that she has specifically sent her champion to oppose them. We'll need to keep that in mind as we proceed. Hmm? Oh, yes. Without two attuned Tower Sentinels, the Sapiarchs can't use the Diamond Keys to open the way to the Crystal Tower. The attuning process usually takes a year and a day. It involves my missing memories. I've recalled an important detail and I need to show it to you. For now, let me compensate you for your efforts so far. I appreciate your help in all this. I believe I'm... It involves my... While you were gone, I have been scrying through my own memories, trying to find the missing events that will remind me where I hid the heart of transparent law. I believe I have discovered something significant. Not exactly. While scrying through my memories, I saw half-formed thoughts and splintered recollections. I saw myself enter the Dreaming Cave beneath Kapora Tower, and I held the Heart of Transparent Law in my hands. I opened a portal, but I can't recall where it went. Something intentionally blocked the destination from my sight. I entered the portal, and time passed. Then I was back in the cave, and the heart was gone. Will you accompany me to the Dreaming Cave? The answer to where I hid the Heart of Transparent Law resides in the Dreaming Cave. Or, more precisely, through the portal I opened and once traversed. But therein lies the problem. It's best if I showed you. Meet me in the cave beneath this tower. The Dreaming Cave lies beneath Kapora Tower, where the various threads of Magicka and other energies come together and pool like water running down a chain. Trained Sigics can use that energy to open portals to anywhere in Oblivion and beyond. Perhaps. I honestly can't remember. If not for the success of my scrying spell, even this minor memory would still elude me. There's more to explain, but words fail me. I'll show you what I mean when we go down to the Dreaming Cave. Just the result of my scrying spell. It allowed me to project images from my mind for further study, to look for details my memory alone may have missed. I watched one particular sequence over and over, the one where I took the heart into the cave. As I explained, the scrying allowed me to see myself take the heart into the Dreaming Cave, to watch as I opened a portal and stepped inside. Then the image faltered and skipped a beat. It ended with me back in the cave, but the heart was gone. Valserin refuses to leave Lathan's side. She's trying to get him to explain how he could forsake our order and pledge himself to a Daedric Prince. I hope she can see her way through this. We're going to need her before all is said and done. That's not my tale to tell. They both rose through the ranks of our order together. Fell in love. Had a child. The rest... Well, that's personal. 
I still find it difficult to believe that the Lathan I know could betray us. 